Salute Mondo there, people. So it's me, Captain Steve, and I'm back with the wiki. And this is now what I do on my PC side of things. So all the images that I took from my last video, if you didn't see my last video, I put a card at the top. But yeah, I've put onto USB, and I'm copying all those images, and I'm putting them onto my PC. I've created a folder called NMSA Wiki, and I'm transferring them all in. Now you can see there they've got the default names, which don't mean much to anyone. I'm going to make the actual thumbnails a little larger so I can see them, and hopefully that will give me an idea of how to name them. But it is now a case of renaming each of these image, and I usually put in like NMSA, and then maybe the name of the system, and then like 01 or something like that, or 020304. And then I'm going to create folders for each of the different planets in that system, actually named after the planet names, and I'm going to put all the images into those folders. Folders. So I'm sort of making some sort of library of all my images. So here we go. Here's all of my folders created now and inside each of those folders I've moved all to the, the images into there. Now the system images I leave in the main folder for the wiki and I only do one system at a time because you're looking at like 40 odd freaking images and then you're going to have to have a planet page for each of the planets. So that's six pages for the planets for this system because there's three planets, three moons. And then I need a system page and a region page. The region page is always the same as long as you stay in the same regions. That's why I want to chart the same region. But you can also make base pages. You could make you could make an actual dedicated fauna page if you really wanted to. You can really go to town on the wiki and make it how you want to make it, basically. So here we go. Here's all my lovely images, all done, dilly done. And yeah, that's pretty much that. So now, some of these images, chums, they're not quite ready for the wiki. It's like this one with the portal code on it. I just want the portal code. Now, I'm going to use that portal code to put on quite a lot of my other images. So I'm just going to snip that part out with my marquee tool. You can use other sort of paint programs. I'm using a free version of Photoshop that I got back in, like, 1990-something. It was free on the front of a, of a magazine cover. So this is, <laughs> this is Adobe Photoshop version 7. It's not even CS. It hasn't got CS on it at all. I mean, this is this is freaking ancient this is like xp days that i've had this from people so we go i'm just going to put that on there but it still does what i need it to do so who, who cares right lovely job right so i'm going to go into these folders and you can see here i've got all my images for all the different planets all separated out all renamed all lovely and jubbly these ones here i've just tinkered with them so there was s class modules on two different tabs so all i've done is removed all the s class modules onto one screen because that's all i'm interested in most people want to know the s class modules and they're not bothered about about the the other modules because you can just buy them in the nexus anyway can't you so awesome done and that's now i'm over onto my wiki page this is the stuff that i've already done this is the nmsa hub so all i need to do is I, where i've got that systems discovered area at the moment i've just said because the discovery servers are down i can't do too much here the discovery servers were up on my last video so i have made a new system so all i want to do is chuck in that new system you've got two edit options you've got edit source which gives you like the source code and now the source code as long as you've done a little bit of html or you've done any sort of sharepoint wikis this is a very sort of it, you should be at home with this it should be quite easy to know so if i wanted to add a planetary review under there all i need to click is underneath the planetary review and start typing stuff it's as simple as that now if you use a double closed bracket that means that it's linking to a page that already pre-exists so here you go nmsa yellow and black freighter which is my first system so if i put two brackets there that page already exists that's nice now this new system gaseous hoss doesn't actually exist i'm just going to grab the spelling over here because i am i fudge knows how you spell that so here we go i'm just going to hit rename on there and just copy that bit out and i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it over and you can see that all the planets are named after what they are in the game so i don't have to keep going back i can just keep copying it from my folder structure because yeah i'm not all that great when it comes to remembering spellings of words so here i'm going to hit save changes there but you don't have to use the uh, the actual scripty type way if you don't want to i'm going to scroll down now you can see that it didn't put in a page break because i didn't put a paragraph return or something inside of the code so now that i've got it in there you can see that one of the links is red and the other one is green and I could just go back into the code and try to drop that down. But you can use the GUI editor, which I just used a GUI editor there and dropped it down. But there we go. Creating an NMSA gaseous host. I click the red link and it says, as long as you've got like a login for the wiki, it should say, do you want to create a page? And it will give you a choice of templates. Well, this one is a star system. So if I click the star system template, scroll down, 
you've got all the blue text again. You've got all of the actual code. It does a lot of the work for you. And all you've got to do is put entries next to where it says equals, basically, inside the page. So you can see here, name of system. I just need to put the name of the system in. Lovely jubbly, which is awesome, which is the gaseous hoss. There we go. I've still got it in my clipboard. Nice. Then it asks for an image. Now, the images you can upload by clicking that little blue sort of arrow at the top there. Now, I do need a couple more images from game. So I put those over to Twitter rather than use USB. And I'm just going to save and download these to my machine. I'm going to name those in the same sort of naming structure, put them in the right folder. Here we go. I'm just going to name those and yeah, whatever these are. So this is the portal address. So there we go. I'm going to name it so it makes sense to me so I can find it quite easy. Portal code. Done. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to do that with the others. And again, if you name things that make sense to you, it's going to make things a lot easier for you when you're putting together your page. So that's always something to keep into mind. So here we are. I'm just going to name this one. And yeah, so this one's just going to be system info, something like that or whatever. Yeah, info zero zero. There we are. It's almost like the, uh, the main image, isn't it, really? And here we go. We've got the signal beacon. So I'm going to save that as well. And yeah, we're going to put that in. I'm just going to click on the other one, just change the naming um, suffix. The suffix, yeah, there we go, so we are. Put that in there and done and save. So it's basically name things that are quite consistent to your naming conventions, things that you're going to remember. This just works for me. What I'm doing here, you don't have to mirror at all. You know, you can make this up as you go along in a roundabout way, how you want to name things, how you want to use a folder structure. This is just an example of how I'm doing it. And there's probably faster ways of doing this. This is probably a mediocre sort of way of doing it. You know, I'm probably going to come up with a better method at some stage, but this is how I'm doing them now. So there you go. You can see that I've uploaded all the images and they're in green at the top there. So after you've actually chosen your images, you hit upload all. It puts them in green. You can even copy and paste the image names down into the actual um, descriptions down there. You can see that I've already put in the JPEG. So that's all cool. That's all going well. There's my uh, screen capture stuff. I pressed alt tab and it brought up that rather than jump me over to my web page. Nice. Freaking awesome. You can see that I've got this star sort of system. It hasn't got water in this system either. So the class goes into there. Nice and distance so yeah i'm gonna go grab the distance from my other sort of page because i put l y for light years originally and the admin went in and actually changed it to light years but i want to get yeah look he's put a hyphen in there so yeah i'm gonna copy that to keep it consistent consistency is something that i want across all my pages so if you are going to be doing this look at how the nmsa hub page is structured so if you look at the planets that i've already done and you're making a planet page try and emulate what i've done planet page to planet page if you get me i mean i've made it so uh, my focus has been mainly the animals that are on the planets um, like you know that are pettable they're one of the things the modules are in the stations i know some of you out there probably aren't interested in any of that if you want to make your focus ship hunting then put in the ships put in the ships put in the coordinates put in the names of the ships put in the prices the slottage all that sort of stuff great multi-tools same again do what you want to do in your area of the hub if you're bringing if you're bringing the wiki to life for an area of the hub that you've charted and you want your focus to be this is a ship hunt in region yeah put that in the description you know <laughs> it's cool i don't mind and the wiki owners they, they, don't, they, they don't mind either either but yeah i would say the other things that need to the things that need to be consistent to the things that need to be consistent you know like portal addresses the faction like corvax and all that sort of thing it they already link to pre-existing pages so make sure that anything that links to a pre-existing page is standardized another thing is don't advertise yourself don't self-promote yourself as, as you know as much as you want it i mean i've got my freaking logo on my freaking t-shirt right now i'll self-promote it and telling you not to self-promote <laughs> but yeah this is a community space it's not an extension of your own website it's not a place for you to advertise your own self um advertise the ships advertise the things that the actual community are going to be interested in advertise the pets that sort of stuff or attract people to the hub you want to join this hub because this hub's freaking awesome yeah you don't have to say this, you join this hub because captain steve's freaking awesome <laughs> no just say why the hub is awesome and being a member of the hub and the community is awesome you know there we go i hope that clears things up right here we go i'm going to stick in viking and the economy lovely jubbly now that viking probably isn't going to work because i haven't put it in the actual i don't know whether it's going to work like that comma -y type thing you know the vi comma keen bit yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes here we go economy class i'm going to stick that in there now some of these things you think hold on well, that could be um, that could be also in the description. Well, it could be, you know. And look, uh, fudge. It's comfortable with an M. I think it's com comfortable. 
isn't it? Okay, anyway, we'll get back to that in a moment. Okay, cool. So you can see that I've saved the changes. I've got comfortable in and got that correct. But the faction hasn't come over like I thought it wouldn't. And yeah, I need to put the images in and I need to create the planets. I also need to put in the glyphs and the portal code. But there's wiki pages that tell you how to do these things. So this, like for glyphs, for example, if I wanted to find out glyph, I could just hit, uh, type in the top glyph and search for how to do glyphs. It's like at the moment, I'm trying to move these images into a line next to each other. Rather than it making it use the scroll bar, I want them in a line. So I can't actually do it in the GUI. I'm trying to drag it up and move it, and all it's doing is reshuffling them around. It's not actually putting them in line with each other. So I'm going to drop into the code and try it in there. So it's a case of, I do like using the GUI if I can get away with it, but sometimes you have to drop into the code and have a little play, have a little bit, a bit of a mess around, and play with the code and see if you can get it to do what you want it to do. So rather than have it have the break there, I'm going to just shuffle them all together and see if that puts them in a line. Haven't tried this. It's completely experimental, which is the beauty of being in the wiki. Um, you know, so a lot of these wiki pages, there are wiki admins. So after you've created a page and you've hit saved, they will get a notification. Somebody else has just added this wiki page, and it will come up with your name against it and stuff. And the wiki admins go in. They take a look at your page before it goes out there into the into the ether anyway. And sometimes they might actually help out. They might tidy your page for you. So yeah, just expect that might happen, and you can actually view the change that have been done to your page um, from the top of the wiki as well anyhow so don't worry about wrecking things too much be careful obviously and if you are in doubt hit up one of the admins and ask the admins or reach out to myself if you've already dm'd me on twitter hopefully you have before you start monkeying about from the wiki yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> hit me up on twitter dm me and uh, yeah if you do need a crash course or, or you need to go over a few things or you've got a simple question just hit us up on there and hopefully I might be able to try and help. But there we go, that, that's all looking great. So at first, these walls of text might not mean much to you when you're looking at it, but after a while, it does. Trust me on this, it's, it's almost like second nature. So here we go, there's the code there. I'm just gonna paste in the code that I've already got on my NMSA one. So I'm just gonna go into my NMSA hub, edit the source from here and copy it over from here because these systems are right next to each other. So this code shouldn't have to differ too much. So I'm just going to copy one and paste it over the top of the other, like that. Awesome. Okay, so now if I search up in here for glyphs, and I should be able to see glyphs and how you structured the glyphs. So if I scroll down on here, you've got the hexadecimal sort of code that you want. So it's the, these numbers in the second line that I want. Okay, so I'm hopefully going to get blue glyphs once I've completed this. Because I like the blue ones, the blue ones are freaking awesome, they're rather tasty. So yeah, and I'm going to be keying them in. So you have to look at your code, so that's why I've got the portal code on screen there. I'm going to take a picture with my phone, so I've got it on my phone, because I need my laptop screen. So yeah, I've, I've, I'm taking a picture physically right now of that screen. I guess, where's my freaking phone? It's somewhere. But yeah, I took a picture of it. Awesome. Lovely jubbly. Photo taken. Now I can go back to that actual glyph set and I can take a look-see and I can work out what I need to actually change in that string of code. And to be honest, there's not many glyphs that I need to actually change here, number-wise. It's only the first few. It's only the first four. Which is odd, because when you look at the actual signal beacon code, it's usually the last four that change. It's kind of reverse decated. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, pretty, pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly okay awesome so birdie man bird bird is a one for example there so yeah i need to go back and i need to look at this and you can see there my first digit isn't a one no so i need to change that to a one it's as simple as that so yeah okay which one i think i'm changing the wrong one yeah let's get out of that one and let's <laughs> awesome so we need to change this one to a one uh, no, to a four sorry there we are that's done to a four nice one awesome yeah so there we go and that that's the case of just building out the code so you look at the number the signs to the actual glyph, and I just need to change this GS code. So there we are, done. Awesome. And yeah, so click there, done that. And the rest of the code, I think, is right. I don't think I need to change any of this. Whoops, yeah, uh, whoops, I just uh, accidentally pressed the wrong button and put that back in. Phew, <laughs> Control Z works. There we are, undo, there's an extra option there. But yeah, I think the rest of the code marries up. I'm just double checking. Yeah, D, and back there. Yeah, that all that all looks fine. I tend to do two at, at a time, so I can go through just check two, two, two. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think all the rest is good. I think we're good on the code. So the answer to the glyph code, lovely jubbly. 
Okay, so once I actually saved the changes and then we've got all that in, and we, it does say do you want to share it and all that sort of stuff, I leave all the template code at the top when I'm in um, draft mode. So until I've actually finished Gaseous Hoss, I won't delete all that top part. So the admin knows that I'm still sort of working on it in a roundabout way. It, it's not really a, a, a written thing, but if I delete that at the top, that means that page is done. Right, so save changes and hit done. And I'm going to scroll down a bit further. And it's all looking good. I mean, apart from, you can see they're claimed by Viking. Well, it's not claimed by Viking, and faction is blank as well. So I need to fix those two things. Now, claimed by should be NMSA905 hub. And the faction, for whatever reason, it's not picking up Viking. I might have to reach out to the admin on that and say, look, I can't get it to freaking link to Viking for some reason. It's not putting it in. And hopefully the admin will be able to fix that for me. So I'm going back in and I'm taking a quick look-see. So at the moment, I'm, I'm looking to see if I can find out how to actually fix that Viking entry. And I'm not finding much. So yes, I think I am definitely going to have to reach out to the actual um, you know, the admin on that one. Here we go, races. I'm checking here as well to see if I can bring it up, and I'm having no luck. So yeah, I'm going to have to reach out to the actual admin on that one. But yeah, I can put in the NMSA hub, so I've done that, and I've hit save. Now let's have a look. So that's blank, but I have managed to fix the NMSA hub. 905 hub is there, so that's good. The faction I'm going to need help on. So even I am needing quite a fair bit of help still, because like this is only the second sort of system that I've actually started to chart and started doing this this uh, wiki stuff. That Viking thing is really sort of um, getting to me. I mean, yeah, there's the Viking page. You'd think it'd be as simple as putting in Viking, but it doesn't really tell you. I'm wondering whether I need to put in that Vi just the end part here with the 27 in it, or maybe the full link. I don't know. I have no idea what it... Yeah, like I say, I need a little bit of help myself on that, trying to get it to work. And I did try an assortment of things to get this to work, and no, I can get it to work. So right, now at this stage, I need to add in all my planets and moons. And you can see here in this table, it's only got one planet listed. So really, I'm going to go into the code. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find where that actual area is. So there it is, right there. And I'm thinking maybe just copy all of it and paste it down. Now I have already done a system before, so I can look at my previous system and maybe look how I did it in the previous system and see what I copied and where I pasted it to get it to look how it does on my previous system. So yeah, I'm kind of sure that I could just copy and paste it down, but just to be sure, I'm just gonna double check myself by looking at what I've done previously. I mean, you can hit edit in the GUI, and you would like to think that you could hit and enter into a new line or something, but you, you can't really. But anyway, I can just edit this and um, edit in like, uh, I can hit the properties on here. I can do a few things inside the GUI, but the GUI isn't all that helpful to be fair. I mean, there we go. Look, I'm trying to delete that planet name and it's, it's not doing it all that well, is it? I mean, it's got search pages. I don't think I need to search a page. It's got some really odd sort of indications on screen. I prefer the text editor myself. But yeah, if you want to try using the GUI, use the GUI. Um, in some places I find it a lot easier to use the GUI if it's a simple, simple change. But anything that's slightly complex, I'm using the um, the code. And I would have thought it would have been the other way around. When I'm on SharePoint, I often use the GUI rather than the actual code, unless I'm doing something more complex, then I might use the code. But here we go, um, there we are, and that's, it's not working how I want it to work. So there we go, I've put in the double brackets there, and I'm hoping when I hit save, they go red. So when I click it, it can edit the page. However, what I'm finding in the wiki, when you do save the changes and you go down, that doesn't always happen. Here's the page that I made previously. So you can see that that looks really nice over on the other planet uh, system. So yeah, I just need to emulate what I did on the other page. So here is that other page, and you can see that that all looks nice, but over here it's not looking so nice. I'm just going to get the basic details in. Then what I'm thinking is going into the edit code function, and then copying and pasting it down. And then, yeah, I'd end up with a load of Kion, Kion VYI or whatever it is. Yeah, I'll just copy those down, and I'll have a block load of those that I just need to update with all the new planetary shenanigans. And yeah, I find that if I put all the images into Photoshop, rather than try to view them inside of um, you know, the normal the viewer inside of Windows, at least then I can zoom in certain aspects and have a better look at what I'm doing. So yeah, I like to use 
my, my actual editing program more so than anything else. So here we go, just edit all of this sort of stuff. It's very self-explanatory when you get used to it. So I'm only going to do maybe one in, inside of this actual tutorial. I want to get one planet page completed. So we'll just get this uh, Cyan 5 in there. And I'll copy it all the way down. We'll try and get that image in as well before we end off. And I'm hoping that's going to give you enough insight into how to actually create a wiki page. It is fairly simple, but like I say, it... it I tend to jump in, in between doing the um, editing in GUI and editing in code to get where I want to get to. So here we go, you can see that, 250 nanites and there's five or five creatures. So I need to make sure that's actually inside of my wiki. So down here, you've got here, you've got the actual class bonus. And yeah, you've got a notes area as well. So I'm going to put the 250 there, boom. And then over in the notes, I'm just going to say how many fauna are on this planet. I'm not going to say whether I can put all fauna discovered because they are all found at the moment. So any sort of uh, creature hunters, at least they know that they're already found. They're not going to jump into that system to try and find them. But yeah, there we go. Save changes. Beautiful. Now what I'm going to do is jump into the code so I can copy this down. But you can see there, I've come out of the editor and that's not a red link. I can't click it to create my planet. So something's gone wrong there. So I need to have a look at what has gone wrong. Why are those white rather than red so here we go uh yeah look it's got these weird tags on the end no wiki right i think i just need to remove those tags so let's get rid of the prefix tags and let's get rid of the end tags let's make sure it's got a double square bracket on that and now let's hit save let's see if that makes it go red so when i click that link it asks me what template i want to use and hopefully it's going to ask for a planetary page to be created that's the idea anyway let's just scroll down let's see if it's red it is red heck yes it is so clicking that now should bring up the template Awesome, that's how I want it. Now I'm going to go into Edit Source and I'm just going to copy that chunk of code down over and over again. So yeah, hopefully it's going to look more like this when I'm done. And then all I need to do is put in all the planetary information for the new system. So that's my system that I've done before. Awesome. So if I go into the Edit Source here, you can see down here that all I've done was I just copied that whole block including all the title tags and copied and pasted it down. Now I have seen other people's pages where they've just got one line, one line, one line for planets, no header record, no header record. So they haven't separated them out. I guess it's just how you prefer things to look. I prefer it to be completely separate, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, there we go. If you want to keep it consistent and you want to keep it the way I've done it, please do. If you think it looks better the other way and you're doing all this work on the NMSA hub, even though it's my hub, it's your wiki page. So yeah, do as you want to do. I might see something that you're doing like, hmm, I actually like what they're doing more and I might change mine. <laughs> You know, but it doesn't really matter. I, I, I honestly don't feel it actually matters too much. As long as the information's there, the pictures are there, and the consistency will kind of be there. You know, every sort of author of these pages are going to have the things that they like and their opinions. And I, I, I like to see the authors have their own penmanship. So, yeah, if you like to see it slightly different, then do it slightly different. There you go. I've copied it down six times because there's three planets, three moons. So I want one for each. But I like to have the title bars there rather than have it just uh, flow all the way down. Mainly because if you have got more than six, you can see here in one hit, you can only really see three of the planets at a time. So I, I like to have it separated out. It's just my personal thing. If you're on a free planet system, it looks better the other way. You know? So, yeah. So I've done it this way. Awesome. Done. And I think we're about good. And all I need to do now is create my first planet page. So I'm just going to create my first planet page, I think. And then um, after I've... Oh, I've got a bit of an error there. Doesn't like that. Okay, fine. Well, I'll use the um, other editor then. Will I? Awesome. Yeah, we'll go to edit source instead. Sweet. Fantastic. So sometimes if it throws up an error, it kind of forces you to use the text editor rather than the GUI. So here we are. Let's just scroll in and let's have a quick look-see. Brilliant. And it's got some sort of notification up there that I'm not used to seeing. And all I want to do is change the planetary names to all of those that are below and to keep them updated to the correct planet so I know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to get on and do that and then I'll reconvene with you. Righto, so that's all pretty much done. Now I'm pretty much ready to go and click that red link and create my actual planet page. So here we go. All, all, you can see that they're all um, named. They're all red at the moment. But I've clicked the first one. It should ask me what sort of template I want to use. And this time I'm going to select planet because it's a planet that I'm doing. So here we go. Let's hit that. Lovely jubbly. And we've got that blue screen again. So this should be coming quite familiar now. And it's a case of now uploading all my images for the planet. Awesome. 
And that's why having them in the separate folders really helps. After you've hit that, make sure you hit upload all and you see they all go green as they upload. So here we go, they're all going in. And then I've got all the images up there. I like the fact that it gives you a little mini thumbnail so you know what you're pasting in. And it's a case of filling in, just like we did with the system sort of level, planet level now you've just got to get all the information and I, I will put all those images into Photoshop as well so I can transpose information across so it, it's a very much a copy and paste exercise all of this stuff now it does feel a little bit tedious when you're doing this you're thinking oh it's a shame that it doesn't just lift and shift stuff from the previous page and and put it in it's not intelligent enough to do that so you have to do a little bit of legwork yourself and yeah like I say I've got the images in Photoshop so I can just jump over to Photoshop and let's just get rid of these because this is still gaseous hoss I need to actually bring in my uh, one for Scion XVII whatever it is so yeah I need to load in the correct images which is cool but then I can just sort of like start putting these across into here so there's a lot of stuff that I just need to transpose and like I say it is a case of just copy paste copy paste and some of the bits I can grab from my previous system that I've created as well and transpose those in so it's as simple as that really so if I go back into my wiki and go into the, the correct folder look I'm just picking bits up from off of here so I'm just gonna grab the actual the system name again gaseous hoss lovely awesome and I'm just gonna try transpose that over into there so that goes into system Chikapow! region that's the safari system so i can grab that off my other page can't i but there we go let's just open up all these and in, in, in here anyway so i've got these in photoshop so i can see exactly what i need to actually paste those out and if i can't see it like i say i can zoom in which is great so at the moment i'm putting in the atmosphere details look at that Thanium 9 i haven't seen Thanium 9 since way back in the freaking vanilla days heck yes that stuff used to be the tritium of old the tritium of old it's interesting that it still mentions all of these resources resources in the I'm wondering whether they might bring back the old resource table I'm wondering wondering it's in my head somewhere but it is nice to see nods to previous iterations taking place in this wiki if I wasn't building this wiki I probably wouldn't have even notice that little nugget of info heck no which is so nice to see the little nods there it really is it really is quite cool but anyway I'm transposing this over and you can see that it says geology it says fabricated it says population on there 1000 what the fudge is that all about yeah who knows but it's, it's quite cool I wish that those notes, I think those notes are just flavour text. You know, like on the frigates where it says infested by spiders. You go on your frigate, there's no spiders. It'd be awesome if some of that did translate into the game, wouldn't it? It really would. It really would be cool. Anyway, we're going off on a tangent. The whole thing about fauna, I don't really like the fauna table. So all I'm doing is taking the gall gallery table and I'm putting pictures in of my favourite creatures. I'm more of a visual person than me. I like the old images. Images say more than a thousand words sometimes. So having a lovely picture of one of the faunas that you can be had as a pet, I feel is better than having some text about the pets that frequent that world and what the bait, the bait is. The bait is no longer applicable. They, you don't need to do the bait fruits anymore. So I deleted that whole table because like, hmm, that doesn't look quite updated as yet, people on the wiki. So yeah, I got rid of it and I've just put in a gallery I don't know whether I'm allowed to do that but you know it's it's my wiki area and so I'm putting it out how I want to put it out for my community and my members so there we go boom well the people that frequent my hub I shouldn't say my members but yeah the, the people that frequent the NMSA hub the members of the NMSA hub so yeah I'm tearing it for them because I know they like pets I know the stuff they like because I make content for them so here we go there we are so I'm, I'm putting that in there I'm going to be having my own little gallery so that's got a little Scottish rod in there that's the only nice creature I think frequents that world so yeah some of them might have four or five images if you if you get super lucky i think in this system there's a planet that's got three creatures in that i really like so there's one planet that's got three creatures that are petable tameable and awesome so yeah but then here we go that's pretty much that planet system done so there we go when i there you go i've gone back to the system page you can see it's pulled in the image from my previous page because i kept the naming right so that's pretty much it people enjoy I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck, yes, there's also merch on this screen now. Awesome!